what is working capital recovery when you evaluate investment decisions you consider the cash flow at the end of the each year and discounted by the pv factor to arrive at the present value of money but at the end of the last year you not only consider the annual cash flow you also consider the working capital recovery and discount this total amount have you ever wondered why now let us consider the case of miss j fresh out of college she decides to start a hotel she invests rupees 10 lakhs for her premises and 2 lakhs for working capital such as inventory and other cash needs hence her total cash outflow is rupees 12 lakhs now the annual cash flow that is expected from her hotel business is rupees 3 lakhs a year for a period of 5 years but during the last year we also add the working capital before arriving at the net present value why now you consider the initial 2 lakhs that is invested in working capital this slowly gets consumed in the process of the business and is converted to cash through sales now this cash is again reinvested as working capital in the business for year 2 the same cycle continues till the end of the business that is the 2 lakhs that results in a cash inflow at the end of the year 1 through working capital recovery is reinvested again in the business for working capital needs of the second year this cycle continues until the last year where the working capital recovery no longer being reinvested results in an actual cash inflow for the business hence this working capital is added back during the last year while evaluating capital budgeting decisions